came to India, my view was that there's lack of access, and it is for various reasons that people can't get to、uh, their doctors, to the best、uh, masters for teaching or learning, and for other things. So in 2012, we created. Arnhem Moving Pictures, which is a platform-agnostic digital content company, and the idea was simple: that all screens would converge and become one. And in the process of doing that, the user would decide how they learned, what they learned, what content they took in, and what access they got. Along that journey, I was building out the health-related、uh, entities, and one day we started looking at it, and we said, "Look, why couldn't we do this for education?" And really, the kernel, the germ of this wasn't dance. It was to teach in a disseminated fashion using technology, media, and brick and mortar come together and go to the last mile. And now it's scaled to where it's on four different DTHs. It goes to 206 countries with our apps and our our、um, uh, online platforms. And now we're scaling it up. And in the lockdown, it's been really amazing. Because we've given people the opportunity to learn, and we kept a bunch of stuff free. I mean, we wanted to yeah, give. Yeah, we did people... like summer camps, you know, so that people can hop on and learn any kind of dance that they want.、Uh, we had competitions, you know, keeping people busy,、uh, so that you know they have something to do during the lockdown and something creative, something they love doing, and something they can carry forward. Well, I think、uh, there's a lot more、uh, discipline now in the entertainment business. When I had started, it was not a very sle- streamlined business. It was、uh, very skewed, you know, where people were making movies for passion, and、uh, you know, once they have an idea, then they very few production houses, which were like you know, like these big corporates that have stepped in now. Very few production houses like Yashis, B R Chopra, or、uh, Subhash Gai, Mukhtar's.、Um, you know, all these were the only ones who were established, and that was their business movie making. And a lot of other people used to come in, make a movie because you know it was their passion. But today, when I came back, it's much more disciplined. Everything is streamlined.、Um, uh, you know,、uh, uh, right from the scripts to what you're going to wear, how you're going to look, and you know, everything is worked out beforehand. So. For an artist, it's a great、um, it's a great thing because when once you're on the set, you're completely prepared with whatever you're supposed to do. You everything is in your head, and you're right there. Another thing that I see, which is wonderful on the sets, is when I used to walk on the sets、um, in the '90s. The only women on the sets were were the hairdressers or the actress, and her co-actors were women. But today, when I walk in, you know, there are women everywhere. Every department, people will choose how they want to get the entertainment, where they want to go and get the entertainment. Sure, that, that's what、uh, that's what we even talked about when we started dancing. I, I think the bigger issue right now is theaters are closed. Yeah, how you do things are different.、Yeah. Filming is done for now.、Mm. You're starting in serials. You're doing things. So we really have to re-engineer what we do. For、uh, 20 years of my life,、um, I practiced as a heart surgeon, and we would, you know, fill the gap. We would take care of people when they were the sickest, and、um, you know, try to bring them back from the abyss. And fortunately, with with the techniques we used and science the way it is in medicine, in most cases they would do great. But I couldn't turn back the clock. No matter how hard I work, I couldn't undo what they'd done their whole lives. Yeah. The same thing is, I I think as a, a, a thing, what we're envisioning is, what is it that every person needs from healthcare, right? It's when you don't have it, and a catastrophe happens. No matter what else you have in your life, you're in jeopardy. So what we have cooked up is something which. Is personalized precision healthcare, which really focuses on individuals and tries to create a entity which protects them from cradle to grave, and is aligned with their well-being forever, and their families and all that. And so it looks at their different variables, including their lifestyle and what they have to go through, because no two people are alike, and、yeah. the disease can be similar. How you You know, manip- manipulate the variables is very different.
It's a combination of media, technology, and brick and mortar, which serves to educate the patient and take care of them, give them the building blocks of um, cloud-based EMR, which is smart, and then a smart services marketplace. And so, you know, in the end, with all the IoT devices, all the other things it'll have, it's going to be a feedback loop, which continuously monitors you. We had recorded the song in LA, and the purpose of the song was, I love to sing. And, um, you know, we thought, um, there's someone who heard my voice and they said, why don't you sing? Uh, because you have a great voice, you should, you should try singing. And so we got into the studio with uh, Raja Kumari and Narendra Kumar and Narendra Singh and, uh, and Ram and me and we all got together and we said, okay, what do we want to sing about? And I thought, you know, that one thing which is common to everybody and in everybody's life is struggles. And when you are faced with struggles, how do you overcome it? Um, sometimes you feel so down and so uncertain about the future that um, you know you have to really look into yourself and gather the strength and light a candle, you know, of sorts, which can be placed in a hurricane or uh, a storm, and you are still going to be burn, burning bright because we are public figures and we have to be like the beacon of light for everyone, whatever may be happening in our lives. And so that was the idea behind the song, and that's when we wrote the song and I sang it. But there's a lot of thing we got to do. And another thing I think uh, this lockdown has given us is time to spend with our families. Yeah. Because everybody's so busy and everybody used to complain. We don't get enough time with the families. Dinner was the only time where the whole family used to come together because everybody's working. The kids are busy. You're busy. But this time, I think we got a lot of time with the family. So I try to spend as much time as possible, though both of them are teenagers and boys. Uh, so as much time as I could, uh, you know, with them and... Uh, read a book finally which I was not getting to do um, then uh, you know cooking and uh, like the song that we shot and you know doing so many different things um, that has been amazing I, I think in the end you realize how lucky all of us are and the idea is I look at the bright side there's going to be a lot of neat things coming out of the post-covid era no traffic, no pollution, working with Zoom, spending more time with your kids and, and your family. And um, her mom, I mean, she's a gem. She's 88 years old and yeah. she's got a wit, which I mean, <laughs> she's the one who made Madhuri who she is. But the bottom line is it's been, and, and even our people, a few of them supported us through this, right? And they stayed with us yes. and we are eternally gr grateful and, and you know, my whole team, 20 people, 16 are sheltering at home, four have stayed with me and I've supported all of them. And the amazing part about it is we have these, you know, Friday night kind of get togethers on Zoom just <laughs> to talk about stuff yeah. and we'll play guitars and sing. And even inside we'll make music. I have a full studio here now and and do stuff together. And, and so look, you have to not worry about what you can't change. You have to cherish what you do have and enjoy life because you don't know, you know what I mean? And then change other people's lives. Yes, need, yes. Know, the, and we've worked hard on that one.